USFL President Brian Wood steps down. It's kind of a surprise thing just before the year closed out. So with 2022 year coming to a close, it looks like the USFL will be looking for a new president of football operations in 2023. USFL News Hub has confirmed that Brian Woods has stepped down as president of football operations. In January 2021, Woods reached out to Fox Sports Chief Executive Officer and Executive Producer Eric Shanks about bringing the USFL to Fox, re-bringing it back to life. Months later, Fox announced the new United States Football League would begin play in April of 2022. Fox would partner with NBC to cover the games for the inaugural season. The league overall was a success, and they crowned the Birmingham Stallions as its Season 1 champion. Season 2 will return and expand this time with three hub cities in Birmingham, Memphis, and a rumor Michigan location. Woods founded a showcase development football league before that called the Spring League that ran from 2017 to 2021 before bringing back the USFL with Fox. So as to say, he's stepping away for family reasons and left on his own accord. Now, what's interesting is on December 31st, the USFL year, quote-unquote, ends as players who sign one-year contracts those expire, so no word on who the league would could bring on board in 2023. Will Fox choose someone in-house or go outside and land people like former XFL president and COO Jeffrey Pollock? The USFL has four months to kick off when season two begins on April 15th. So how does this impact things? Will they bring in somebody that is connected in the Fox world, or do they go somebody outside with experience like Jeffrey Pollock? Uh, there could be others. Let us know who you think they should bring in in the comments. Oliver Luck, wasn't he was kind of the commissioner. He wasn't president of football operations. Did they bring a former another former XFL person we haven't heard of? Did they bring somebody from the CFL or fan control football? Like, who knows where they're coming from? But they have four months to get the league going. They're still trying to lock down what's going on in Michigan, and they, that's, they need a president of football operations. So I, let's hope in the new year we get a new person that comes on board.